This week we are going to start down a path together, and this path is known as the Lectio Divina. We are also going to use a Bible version that maybe you haven't used before. Some of you may be familiar with it. This version is actually written in contemporary form. It's in story form, and Eugene Patterson is actually who wrote it. It's called The Message. Now, one thing I want to point out. Some places are like, listen, you have got to make sure that you stick with certain versions of the Bible. And if you don't, what you're reading from is wrong. The issue was is that many people, whenever they were reading their Bible, quite frankly, they didn't understand it. We're not taking away the Bible. We're not throwing it away. We're doing none of those things. What we're doing is trying to spark an interest inside of each one of us so that we will jump in and want to read God's Word more. I'm reading from Philippians, starting in chapter 3, from verses 12 to 16. It says, I'm not saying that I have this all together, that I have it made, but I am well on my way, reaching out for Christ, who has so wondrously reached out for me. Friends, don't get me wrong. By no means do I count myself an expert in all of this, but I've got my eye on the goal, where God is beckoning us onward to Jesus. I'm off and running, and I'm not turning back. So let's keep focused on that goal, those of us who want everything God has for us. If any of you have something else in mind, something less than total commitment, God will clear your blurred vision. You'll see it yet. Now that we're on the right track, let's stay on it. That track is the path that we're going to go on, which is known as that Lectio Divina. The path is a simple one, and each day we'll take a new step. This is Christ talking to us, and these are the steps that we want to take so that we can do so together. Till tomorrow.